Now this particular patient has a lot of wear patterns uh, throughout his mouth and we're going to use a new feature, the articulation feature to actually analyze those. So initially we're going to see the maximum intercuspation contacts. So we'll turn on the articulation. We have an occlusal compass mode where we can actually see the different interferences and they come in various colors so that uh, those paths of the jaw can actually be analyzed and adjusted if needed. Typically on a ceramic restoration after it's been cemented, these are the ones that are the most troublesome to find. So we're going to turn on the articulation animation. And what I want you to notice on this patient that has a very distinct wear pattern, uh, you'll see that the mandible actually goes through the actual wear facets of his teeth. This is pretty amazing. Take a look at his canines and the angles at which it rubs off the canine and onto the lateral. And you'll see this is his true articulation pattern represented digitally. Another thing to look at is the most posterior tooth number 31 and you can see that wear facet right into it, right where that upper cusp grinds right into it. So now that we have our uh, proposal and the occlusion, we can then just modify it for uh, any interferences, which are usually the side to side motions or front to back. So we'll just select one of our tools. Uh, in this case, this is remove tool. We're just gonna hit those little wear spots, get those down so it fits within their occlusion pattern. Turn that off and then we can take a look at the occlusion like we normally would, the occlusal contacts. And what I think you may find is you may actually start designing your restorations with more of contacts because now we have the ability to get rid of all the lateral and uh, protrusive interferences with it with the new articulation system. Mm -hmm.